Namaste, Namaste, family of light. And we want to say hello to our light workers who are on Zoom, our light workers who are here at the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light located in Sarasota, Florida, and also our light workers on Facebook Live, of which many of you are going to see this a little later on. Uh, we have traditionally, for the past 17 years, every Monday without fail, uh, always had a chat before we started to actually do the transmission meditation. I really feel that that was part of the process and continues to be part of the process because a lot of insights uh, start to come in. There's a lot of energy and people talking and exchanging and that kind of thing. So there's some something to it why that's a tradition that we have continued to keep even when we were totally um, online only uh, during uh, you know the COVID lockdown and people couldn't really gather. Uh, we still continued it. So we continue it now. And as a result of um, that, uh, you know, anything that comes in, there's a shift and a change. We now are online and we are in person. And that is reflective of our ever awakened consciousness into the fifth dimension and beyond. Fifth dimension, there's no time and space as we know it. And actually a thought or to come together, it takes a thought, simply a thought. So the fact that we are able to communicate to people around the world at an agreed time and space or point, I should say, and not have time as a barrier anymore or location as a barrier anymore is reflective of the higher dimensions that don't have the time space um, dynamic that we have here on this planet and in this, and in this density and realm. So um, that's a really good thing. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, waking up as a dream because as, as energies increase and energies are increasing on the planet, um, there's more energy coming now than ever before from our, our solar low guy, the sun. Uh, there's all kind of gamma rays and other rays because you have to remember that <clears throat> our planet is traveling, okay, through space. And I, I don't remember how many miles per second we're going. It's No, it's pretty fast, but we're going into new regions of the cosmos. Okay, we're not stationary. So uh, just as if you were driving uh, a car, and just going cross country, for example, you see different things, different people, different energies, different sites. The same thing is happening uh, with us. And I remember that whole time about going through the photon belt. That was a really big deal. There's all these energies coming around. And so there's a lot going on, but we can all say that things are accelerating and energies are coming in or accelerating. And we as people, we can't even now think of time. Uh, time is becoming more and more uh, translucent and evasive. You know, I have a difficulty trying to think of time. Was that yesterday? Or was that a week ago or a year ago? You know, or sometimes you just have where things happen in one day and you say, wasn't that two days? And I'm like, no, it was only one day. Or time can slow down and say, this is one day. I said, no, it's actually more than one day. So all of this stuff is reflective of the metamorphosis, if you will, the changes that are taking place and who we are as a species um, in terms of human bodies. But I want to talk about who we are as soul, um, uh, and our different reasons for being on the planet. That's, that's what I want to talk about. And... Uh, I used to think that everything was just one thing and we're all in it together. No, it's so complex. It is so complex. There's so many different layers. And you can have what seems to be two opposing uh, points of view that really on a higher level are saying the same thing. You know, so it's like the uh, proverbial blind people or blind men seeing a, touching an elephant and getting different perspectives from where they are, but it's the same thing because we're here, but the magnitude of what we're part of is beyond our reach, uh, as sometimes to be able to see the whole story. Because, um, and I always saw it, I never saw it as the 
elephant, but I long time ago has said sometimes you hear things that seem to be conflicting with something else that you hear what's that all about and that's when i got the but they use the analogy of a rose i got a rose i didn't get an elephant and so what i showed was a rose like how you have a red rose and if you're at that say the north uh the northeast you would just see no it's red and it looks like it's rounded okay but somebody in the southwest where the stem is they said no 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 it's green and it's tubular okay and then somebody else looking at the leaf would say it's a different type of thing so but what they're describing is really the same thing but they cannot see that higher picture which is why you know that's where the faith path comes in um, that we have a sense and to use our intuition and to follow our guidance because there's so much more uh, than we are capable at the moment to perceive. But that's changing very rapidly. I'm happy to say that. Um, I feel that you, if you are on a conscious spiritual path, first there is like, I feel there's something more. Okay. And so that is the knocking on the door and the seeker. Okay, we start off as seekers, like, all right, there's something else. I got to find out what this is. And you're reading books and, you know, meditating or whatever it is to do, going to different religions and experiencing that and the whole seeking part. And then it comes to a point where in that seeking, you have a sense of, um, you know, I feel there's something more going on. I have to investigate what is this more thing going on. And then once you start investigating that, then is there's a dawning in consciousness saying, I think I'm part of something much bigger. I think there's a lot more going on than where I find my physical body. And then your higher self is going to start to put you on that road as you become open to that. It's going to say, okay, put on your seatbelt because we're going to have some paradigm shift for you. But really all we're doing is re-remembering what we already know. This is not new now. There are those people who come in and they come in for the purpose of learning. Yes, uh, Earth is a schoolhouse. We all can learn from Earth. But there are those also, there's such a great diversity. There are those who come in souls. It could have been recent or it could be thousands of years ago. Like Sanat Kumara and the Kumaras that said, we're coming in to anchor light to the planet. Who knows how many millions, billion years ago that was. But you do have these souls that came in that heard a clarion call that said, we're here to assist the planet and to raise its frequency into the new age. And so there's many of those souls that are more coming onto the planet. Those would be your prophets and your seers and your shamans, okay, your priestesses, your priests, okay, those are saying, we're tapping into something beyond this matrix, but it's not that that hierarchy group is all of us that have that ability just by the fact that we are a part of the admin kadman we are the divine human we hold the similitude of the divine it is in our dna as so, but it has been um you know dormant i say that's a good word for various reasons why it's dormant but there's this whole enlight enlightenment that's coming on now where people are beginning to wake up out of the dream now, there are people that are within the matrix, and I know a lot of people, a lot of light workers have seen the matrix. If you haven't, it would be one of a good picture to see. But basically, the concept is that, which Divine Mother told me, is that this world seems so real to the point where people feel that things aren't going right or they're having a hard time or they're suffering or they feel isolated they're alone and they think that this is this is it and some of them exit this world they just exit it and it's a tough it's not a, it's not a walk in the park at all this planet it's not a walk in the park but they just were so convinced that everything was so real and i want to say no 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 there's so much more there's so much more but that's how thick the illusion is that's how thick the fact that you find yourself on a path Okay, going in any direction, you should pat yourself on the shoulder because I did see the analogy that Divine Mother showed me was like as if you're in a vat of molasses. If you can imagine, you don't know which way is up, down, right, or left. That's how thick Maya or what we would have called the matrix new, new, new term uh, is. 
But as we continue to make known the unknown, as we go past our fears, as we begin to follow our, our, our intuition, uh, the sense of our soul pulling us that there's more and we start knocking on the door and we start investigating, we start seeking, we land in a place that we say, we know there's more going on. We start analyzing our dreams, the inspirations that come in, a lot of phenomena that happen that doesn't make sense in a 3D world. It forces you to go beyond the boundaries of the matrix to say there's something more going on. The more you go beyond and you start to investigate beyond that, the more you start to find out the unknown and bringing it into consciousness that you begin to say, holy mackerel, I exist on a whole other level. This is just one small part. This is a much bigger picture. Then if you have like your ancestors and you have the ascended mass and the angels saying, oh my God, they're actually waking up because you have to be brave. Okay, those that come in with a mission, those who said, I volunteer to assist the planet in raising this frequency because it is the, the, the matrix, the Maya is so thick. You have many light workers come in and got caught up in Dharma and karma. Okay, they got caught up and they forgot. I what I came here for something I can't remember what it is, and it may take many many lifetimes and the commitment of many many lifetimes to start to wake up, which is this time that's happening. You know, I know this is not my first rodeo, and for many of us, it's not our first rodeo. We've been on this path for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime to try to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. We are now at a point. In the frequency of the planet, we have a ways to go, but there is a large group of people where that connection to their higher self is stronger than ever that is moving them in the path of the truth of who they truly are as magnificent beings of light, okay, that are in a physical body, okay, that are here for those that are, are on that mission, okay, that have a sense of they are here to do something important, which they do, can now begin to unfold in their consciousness, consciousness and see the bigger picture. And as that happens, there is so much joy in the heavens because the cosmic awakening of one being is a cosmic event. The awakening of one being is a cosmic event because it is so, so um the uh, thick in the illusion but we're getting out of the illusion and many of us are, are going to be working on higher levels we're going to start in our dream state have experiences where the dream and the waking state kind of blend one and together and and even if it's not happening yet, you just keep on knocking on the door. You keep on saying, I'm here to serve the highest purpose that I can. You may want to say, I'm here on my personal ascension path. Those that say, you know what, I'm here on my personal ascension path. Not only am I helping, okay, the planet and all of her life, but I am consciously, because I'm aware, okay, that I want to ascend into and beyond the world of rebirth. That's what I want to do. That's what we want to do. You get to that point to say, I don't have to keep on coming around here in a hamster wheel over and over again. I have a certain level of awareness now where I'm not going to not help, but I can sort of escape dodge, you know, and help from someplace else. In other words, you are given that option. So very, very exciting. Uh, all I can say is to wake up out of the dream, out of the dream is to keep on knocking and seeking, keep on walking on your spiritual path. It absolutely 100% pays off. Not only do you live in this life that we are in with more grace and ease, with a higher understanding that does not put you into fear and you don't need to go into the drama of what's happening. Yes, we know what's going on, but we are the ones that are to hold the light to the whole planet. And that's why we have to come from a slightly different perspective. We have to come from the neutral observer because we know all the little manipulations that are going down in this level and what's going on. You step out of it and you look at the higher perspective of things because you're tapped now into a higher level frequency 
of wisdom and understanding. So with that, I will say, let's all plan and affirm that we're going to wake up. <laughs> we're going to wake up out of the illusion, out of the dream. Remember who we are, so much more than what this is. We are just magnificent spiritual beings of light. And this is just a very small aspect of us. And we are here, but a very important aspect of us, because we are the ones that come into this physical body and we are the boots on the ground. We are closest to the earth. So everything, even the most densest, the most dense is going to be um, going up in higher frequency. And we are all a part of playing that most important role. So if you ever feel depressed or you feel that you're not doing anything much, please erase that from your thought. You do so much. You do so much just by being on the planet. Well, with that, I'm going to say namaste to a beautiful family of light. For those of you that see this and would like to be part of the transmission, we just have our chat, but we do our transmission meditation, working with ascended realms of light uh, on Zoom and in person. And you can be a part of that anytime. All you have to do is look for the anchoring light. You register one time, you'll get the reminder and you can participate. So till next time, Baba Sharon saying namaste and God bless. See you next time.